What's up you guys, it's Deepo here and today I'm going to show you how to create this banner for YouTube in Photoshop. So this tutorial was requested by one of our viewers. So there you go my friend, hope you find it helpful. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free, then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new. After that set the width as around 2560 pixels and then set the height as 1440 pixels and then set the resolution as 72 pixels per inch and then click on create. After that we need to bring in the banner template image which is recommended by YouTube. So for that go to file and then select the option as place embedded. After that select the banner template image. Download link for this banner template image is in the description below and then select the option as place. After that click on the stick icon in order to place it. So as you can see from the template image that we have banner size for each and every devices. Now as you can see that the maximum size of the banner is that of a TV which is 2560 pixels and 1440 pixels which is the size of the document which we have created and the minimum size of the banner is that of a mobile. Now the main contents of the banner which we will be creating will be confined within the size of the mobile itself so that even if the banner is viewed from other device it won't be much of a problem. So now the next thing which we need to do is draw some guides around the edges of the each banner size so that later on we can hide this template image now in order to draw some guides let's bring up the ruler tool so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus r key of your keyboard in order to bring up the ruler tool now if you need to create a vertical guide then you need to click on this vertical ruler tool and then drag that line to one of the edges so once it has been properly aligned with the edge after that you can release your mouse click so as you can see a vertical guide has been placed now if you need to create a second vertical guide then you need to repeat the same process so like this we create a vertical guide at each of the vertical edges. Now if you need to create a horizontal guide then you need to click on this horizontal ruler tool and then drag and place it as follows. And then let's place the second horizontal guide as well. So now as you can see we have created the guides around each of the edges. Now after that we don't require this template image. So for that right click on the template image layer and then select the option as delete layer. After that click on yes. So now the next thing which I want to do is fill the entire background with that of a small version of my logo. So for that we need to create a pattern of our logo. So for that open your logo image into a new document. After that we need to create a pattern of this logo. So for that go to edit and then select the option as define pattern. After that you can give any name of your choice and then click on ok. Now after that you can close this document and then go to our original document. Now once you are in your original document then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. After that select the color as black. Now I am selecting the solid color as black because my logo has a background which is that of a black color. So you can select your color accordingly and then click on ok. Now after that we need to fill this layer with that of the pattern which we have just defined. So for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as pattern overlay. After that set the blend mode as normal, opacity as 50% and then click on the drop down of the pattern and then select the pattern which you have just defined. After that you can set the scale accordingly. I am setting it to 5%. You can set it according to your own preference and then click on OK. So now as you can see after applying the pattern our image is looking somewhat like this. Now the next thing which we need to do is convert this thing into a smart object so that later on we can edit it non-destructively. So for that right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. After that let's rename this thing to background. Now the next thing which I want to do is place a big logo at the center of my document. So for that go to file and then select the option as place embedded and then select any logo. After that select the option as place. After that you can scale your logo accordingly. So this much size is looking perfect for my logo. After that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now the next thing which you need to do is place this logo at the center of this document. So for that press ctrl command on mac and then click on this white background layer which will give you the selection of the white background layer as well as keep the selection of the logo layer. After that select move tool and then click on this align vertical center. After that click on align horizontal centers. So as you can see now the logo has been placed at the center of this document. After that make the logo layer active by clicking on it. So now the next thing which I want to do is add some stroke to the logo so that it separates out from the background. So for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as stroke. After that set the size of the stroke to around 8 pixels and then set the position as outside, blend mode as normal, opacity as 100% and set the fill type to color. After that select the color as white and then click on ok. After that click on ok. So as you can see now the logo is looking proper. Now the next thing I want to do is place some text over here. Now remember the text which I will be placing, I will be placing inside of this small box so that it is visible from all of the devices. So for that select horizontal type tool. 
and then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm choosing is in the description below. Also, if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop, the link for that is in the description as well. After that, set any appropriate size for your text. I'm setting it to 150 point. After that, make sure that the align to left icon has been checked and then click on this character panel icon and then set the vertical spacing between two lines as 129 point. After that, let me just minimize this and then set the foreground color as white, which will be the color of our text and then click on OK. After that, you can click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. Now the text which I want to type is of two words and we have reached the logo over here. So for second word, I'm clicking on the enter key of my keyboard and then typing it. Now once your text looks proper, after that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now we need to place this text at the vertical center of this document. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this white background layer. After that select move tool and then this time only click on this align vertical centers. After that make the text layer active by clicking on it. And then using move tool you need to press the left and the right arrow key of your keyboard in order to place it properly. Just make sure that the text does not go out of this vertical guide over here and after that I want to rotate this text a little bit so for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus T in order to bring up the transform tool and then you can rotate it from one of the corners as follows. So this much rotation is looking perfect after that click on the stick icon in order to place it. So now this is looking proper and after that I want to type in a second text so for that select horizontal type tool and then using horizontal type tool click on the document. After that for this second text as well I want to keep the font as same. I just want to decrease the size of this text to around 120 point and once you have set your font you can type in your text. Now since for this text as well we have reached the grid so I am pressing the enter key of my keyboard. Now after that I want this Tuesday word should have a different color in order to emphasize it properly so for that using your cursor you can select the Tuesday word and then you can set the foreground color according to the color which you want to set for this letter I am setting it to red color and then click on OK. After that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now after that we want to place this text at the vertical center as well so for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this white background layer. After that select move tool and then click on align vertical centers. After that again make the text layer active by clicking on it and then using the left arrow key of your keyboard you can place it inside of this guide over here. So now as you can see the text has properly been placed inside of the guide now after that I want to type in the third text so for that select horizontal type tool and then click on the document. Now for this third text I want some different font so for that I am selecting it. Now download link for the font I am choosing over here is also in the description below. After that I want to set the font size to around 50 point. After that let's again set the foreground color to white which will be the color of our text and then you can type in your text. Now in order to get the swatches from this font you need to type in the number key of your keyboard. Different numbers will give you swatches of different sizes so I am typing the number 7 of my keyboard and then click on the stick icon in order to place it. After that select move tool and then using move tool you can place this text properly. So now as you can see now it is looking proper and after that the next thing I want to do is place a photoshop icon between the text and the logo over here. So for that go to file and then select the option as place embedded. After that select the photoshop icon and then click on place. Now after that let me just scale down this icon and place it properly. So now this much size and this position is looking proper after that click on the stick icon in order to place it. So now as you can see that a center portion of the banner is looking perfect but as you can see that the rest of the banner is looking empty. So now the next step we will be doing is filling out the rest of the banner. So for that make the background layer active by clicking on it and then create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon. After that select brush tool and then click on the drop down of the brush panel. After that you can minimize this general brushes folder and then expand the dry media brushes folder. After that from the dry media brushes folder you need to select the Kyle's ultimate charcoal pencil brush. After that set the foreground color as white which will be the color of a brush and then click on ok. And then you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. And then you can set the opacity of the brush to around 100% and then set the flow of the brush to around 55%. After that using the brush tool you just need to dab on the document as follows. So as you can see as you dab on the document it creates a splatter kind of effect which is looking perfect for this image. So like this way you need to keep changing the size of the brush and then you need to fill the document as follows. So now this much filling is looking perfect for this image and after that the next thing which I want to do is separate out the desktop portion of the banner with that of the rest of the banner. So even if the banner is viewed from TV only the desktop portion of the banner will be highlighted. So for that we need to merge this layer 1 layer and the background layer into a single layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this background layer. 
After that, right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object so that we will have a non-destructible object. Even if we want to edit this layers later on in the future, then all we need to do is double click on the smart object layer icon. So now after that, the smart object will be opened up in a new document with containing just those two layers. After that, you can edit the layers over here and then all you need to do is save this document and after that, you can close it as well. After that you have saved that document, the smart object will be updated in the original document as well. So this gives you a kind of a non-destructible effect. Now after that we need to create a duplicate of the smart object layer as well. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J in order to create a duplicate. After that we need to get the selection of the desktop portion of the banner. So for that select rectangular marquee tool and then using the rectangular marquee tool you can follow the guides to get a selection. So as you can see we have got the selection of the desktop portion of the banner after that we need to click on add layer mask icon which will mask the current image with that of the selection. So as you can see from the mask that the particular portion of the selection has been filled with that of a white color and the rest of the mask has been filled with that of a black color. Now let me just explain you something about the mask that the white in the mask will reveal that particular portion of the image and the black in the mask will hide that particular portion of the image. Now after that we again need the selection of the desktop portion of the banner so for that press Ctrl or command on Mac and then click on the icon of the mask which will again give you that selection. After that press Ctrl or command on Mac plus Shift plus I in order to invert this selection and then make the layer below it as active by clicking on it. After that click on add layer mask icon which will mask the image with that of a current selection. So as you can see from the mask over here that the desktop portion of the banner has been filled with that of a black color and the rest of the banner has been filled with that of a white color. So now after that let me just rename these layers for our convenience so I am renaming those. After that make the white background layer active by clicking on it and then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. After that select the background color as black and then click on ok. After that make the TV layer active by clicking on it and then reduce the opacity of that layer to around 40%. After that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as exposure. And then in the exposure tab click on create clipping mask icon so that it will only affect one layer below it. And then you can reduce the exposure to around minus 2. So now this much exposure is looking proper and after that we need to add that subscribe icon over here as well. So for that make the top layer active by clicking on it. And then open the subscribe PSD in a new document. Download link for the subscribe PSD is in the description below. After that select move tool. And then using the move tool you need to drag the subscribe now icon to our original document. After that you can release it over here. And then press Ctrl or command on Mac plus T in order to bring up the transform tool. And then you need to scale down this icon as follows. After that you need to place this icon to the left corner as follows. Just make sure that it does not process any of the guides. So let me just reduce it a little bit as well. So once it looks proper, after that click on the stick icon in order to place it. So as you can see because of the other effect it is quite not much visible. So for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as stroke. After that you can set the size of the stroke to 10 pixels. And then set the position as outside, blend mode as normal, opacity as 100%, set the fill type as color and then set the color to around black. And then click on ok. After that let me just increase the size to around 20 pixels. And then click on ok. So as you can see now it is perfectly visible. Now after that we need to create a duplicate of this as well. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J in order to create a duplicate. After that press Shift and then you can drag that duplicate layer to the right corner as well. By pressing Shift you drag it in a straight line. And then using the left and the right arrow keys of your keyboard you can place it properly as well. Now after that the next thing which we want to do is hide the guides which we have created over here. So for that go to View and then Show and then click on the option Guides. After that let me just close this character panel icon as well. So now as you can see our banner is also looking proper. So yeah that's it guys that's the final banner image. Hope you guys like this video on how to create simple banner image for your YouTube in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm in spreading the videos. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.